Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today we're going to paint up a big scary dragon. All right, so thanks. So last week we painted up the WizKids Pathfinder Battles unpainted gargantuan white dragon, this guy here. If you didn't watch the video, I've got a link up here so you can take a look. So we did the cold version last week, and so now we're going to do the red dragon, the fiery version. I'll be honest, this one's a little more intimidating to paint than the other one. There are all these spikes and scary bits on here that could easily go wrong, but I think we'll do okay. All right, so first we're gonna unbox the mini real quick and then we will paint it up and see how we do. Okay, so this box is nice. I really like these boxes. Uh, you can see the mini, you can see a couple paint options in there. Uh, they're easy to open, they're easy to store. A plus on the, <laughs> on the packaging. And inside you also have the base. So this is a peg style base, so you plug the feet in. So we're gonna base coat it all in Reaper Garnet Red. We're gonna thin this down, that little bottle that's water in there. You always wanna thin down your paints. We're actually gonna do two thin coats of this. Uh, if you do just one, it might get a little thick and a little gloppy and you might lose details. Uh, but you can see here how that second coat makes it red versus that kind of pinkish, see-through, transparent color. We're gonna use some Reaper Fresh Blood. Uh, now this is where we're gonna start dry brushing. So we get a little paint on the brush, wipe off almost all of it, uh, and then we just drag the brush against the raised edges, and that'll bring out our highlights. So that'll give us some difference between the darker red, uh, that's like the base and the shadows, versus the raised bits here. Yeah, and uh, you might not be able to see it super well in the video, but in person, there's a big difference. We're gonna use some more Reaper paint here. Uh, this is Siani Scarlet. We're gonna use this bright red to do another layer of dry brush. It'll help us bring out even more detail. You may have noticed I've put a glove on here. Uh, I usually only wear a glove if I'm going to be holding the mini for an extended period of time. Typically, I'll try to put the mini on a handle uh, to hold it, it gives me some flexibility with a little bit of tack. Uh, but with this big of a mini, I can't really use a handle, so I have to hold it in my hand and paint can rub off on your hand, you can smear it. Uh, even just the warmth of your skin can melt it down a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to start with uh, bruised purple, also from Reaper. We're gonna do the scales, the main scales on his belly in purple. Again, thin, thin, thin. Use that little water dropper. So just like the red scales, we plan to do two coats with this. So uh, you can see here, it's a little thin. You can still see some of the red, but that's okay. We're gonna get this down, wait for it to dry, and then do the second coat. So there it is with one coat. Now we start the second coat. While we're at it, we're also gonna do the scales on the arms and legs. So you can see with two coats, it's very solid. We're gonna switch over to a brighter purple. This is gem purple, again from Reaper. And we'll use this to get a highlight on the edge of those scales. So I'm picking all these bright and contrasty colors, knowing that at the end, I'm going to use a wash and that wash will tone everything down. So we need to come in heavy. And remember, if your paint gets clogged, just stick a needle or a pokey tool right in there and it'll clear it up. So the technique I'm about to use here uh, will give us some little like scratchy marks on these scales. And I like this technique. However, the Reaper Kraken Purple paint I picked here might have been a little too light. So keep that in mind. All right, so we've got a very narrow brush, a very small brush. And we're just gonna do little swipes, just 
you know, exact pattern and completed. <laughs> it is uh, definitely a sight to behold. Okay, so now we've got uh, another Reaper Paint Ginger Cookie. This is where we're going to start doing all the horns, all the little spikes. And there are lots of them <laughs> with this mini. And then just give it a little bit of highlight across the top of the spikes. Uh, we're gonna go across with a lighter tan color. All right, so Reaper Black Wash. Uh, you can see how strong these colors are, uh, but after we do this wash, you, we will be toned down into the dark, scary kind of red dragon that we're going for. I know we're gonna use a lot of this, so I just find a big fat old brush and just start lathering it on. Okay, so right after the wash, it is super duper dark and it looks not great. But stay tuned, we're gonna do some stuff here to bring back a little bit of color. So we're back with that Ciani Red and we're gonna start some dry brush. And you can immediately see how big of a difference that makes. That red is popping out with that black. I think it looks great. The spikes might have been affected by the wash a little more than I planned. So bringing in this Kraken Purple is going to lighten it all up and we'll add a little bit more purple too. So we'll have these kind of magical spikes. Now we're going to bring in some Army Painter Quick Shade Purple. So the way the wash will dry on those spikes will give us this kind of creepy purple glowy effect. And for the primary eye color, we're gonna use some Reaper Cavalier Orange. And we'll just make a little vertical mark on that orange with the Reaper Pure White. Okay, so these peg bases I do not super duper love. They're a pain in the butt to get on there and they'll pop off pretty easily. So I like to put a little super glue on there. I should have scored the base uh, before I put it on there. That'll give us a little more grip with the uh, basing materials. Okay, so you know me, I usually like to use hugeminis.com uh, for my basing materials, uh, but sometimes I like to switch it up if I have something in mind. And for this particular one, I'm going to use some Vallejo Earth Texture. So this stuff is really thin. You just putty it on there, kind of like pizza sauce. One of the reasons I went this route is I have these Army Painter Scorched Tufts, so it's kind of like a burned out grass. I thought it would look good with a fire dragon. So with some tweezers, just pluck them off, stick them in the mud. A couple different sizes, place them around, try to make it look not too organized. So I wanted to use some rocks here. So these are from Michaels. I've got two different kinds, uh, and we're just going to sprinkle them into that mud. You want to do this over something that you can easily recollect because uh, you do not want to get these all over your desk or your floor. Okay, so after everything dried, uh, we just did a little glossy lacquer spray across it to seal in the goodness and here we are. Okay, so I think he came out pretty good. And if you want to see even more Fry Minis, check out Fry Minis on Instagram. That's where I post all my miniatures I've painted. So think of it more of a magical shadow red dragon than a traditional red dragon. We've got plenty of regular dragons and it's nice to vary your minis a little bit. So yeah, I think he came out pretty cool. It was really fun to paint. Uh, I am definitely okay if I take a break from painting spikes for a while. There are so many spikes on this thing, uh, but hey, that's what you get with a fun dragon. As always, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Uh, patrons, you are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're not already a patron, check out patreon.com slash fryminis to see all the cool secret perks you can get by being a Fry Minis patron. Okay, so I sure had fun with this video and I hope you did too. If you did, hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Anything you can do to help out is really great. Thank you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.